Hello, my name is Cecilia dobbs Walton, Public Affairs Specialist for the City of Biloxi, here to deliver today's report for Friday, June 4, 2021. Today we'll see sand removal on US 90 and we'll also show you repairs to a water main on Big Lake Road in West Biloxi. We'll have the COVID and vaccination update, your weekend preview, and a moment of zen at Beauvoir. But we begin today with fireworks at the Biloxi City Council meeting this week. Council members decided to table for the second time a measure that would allow residents to shoot fireworks on the 4th of July and on New Year's Eve. This means that it's illegal to shoot fireworks in Biloxi. The Gillage administration had hoped to clarify the city's position since fireworks sales have been taking place since being legalized during the Holloway administration. The Biloxi Public Works Department had another busy week this week. There was sand removal down on US 90 at Broadwater. Crews are removing piles of sand from sidewalks north of the highway. Meanwhile, Public Works crews spent several hours Wednesday making repairs to a four-inch water main on Big Lake Road in West Biloxi. The compromised water line was seven feet below the ground and the leak meant that water was cut off for a time for those residents on Big Lake Road and connecting streets in West Biloxi. Those who lost water service during the repairs are now under a precautionary but mandated boil water notice. Public Works crews will place door hangers on impacted homes once the notice is lifted. It typically takes two days for the city to receive two clear samples after a boil water notice is issued. The Biloxi Parks and Recreation Department is now accepting applications for its 2021 class of the Biloxi Sports Hall of Fame. Nominees must be retired at least three years if an athlete or competitor or have completed at least 15 years of service as a coach or supporter of Biloxi Athletics. Must have de demonstrated good citizenship both in school and after leaving school and must have contributed to the betterment of athletics in the city of Biloxi as a player, coach, or any supporting row of superior accomplishment. Applications may be acquired weekdays from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at the Parks and Recreation Office at 377 Hiller Drive or online at biloxi.ms.us. Application deadline is Friday, July the 2nd. As of Thursday, June the 3rd, the Mississippi State Department of Health reports 192 new cases of the coronavirus statewide and two new deaths statewide. In Harrison County, 11 new COVID-19 cases were reported with no new deaths. Overall, more than 318,000 cases of COVID-19 have been reported statewide with more than 7,300 deaths. In Harrison County, more than 18,000 cases have been reported with more than 300 deaths. As for the vaccinations, they are available for anyone age 12 and older. As for the number of people receiving the COVID-19 vaccinations, more than 900,000 Mississippians are fully vaccinated, and only 26% of Harrison County residents are fully vaccinated. For more information about vaccinations, links to appointments, and safety protocols for fully vaccinated individuals, visit the city's website at biloxi.ms.us, or you may call the Mississippi COVID-19 hotline at 877-978-6453 to schedule a COVID-19 vaccination. Rain chances continue throughout the weekend with temperatures in the 70s and 80s. Over at the Point Cadet Marina, the King Master Fishing Tournament will wrap up on Saturday with scales open from 3 to 6 p.m followed by an awards presentation and weigh-in. Then on Monday, the Mississippi Gulf Coast Billfish Classic begins with teams arriving to the Point Cadet Marina. The tournament is expected to have nearly 120 boats with hundreds of deep sea anglers participating. The parade of boats will take place Thursday morning at 11 with scales opening on Friday and Saturday. For more information, visit online at MGCBC Com. The Biloxi Shuckers are on the road this weekend, but will return to MGM Park on Tuesday when they face the Mississippi Braves. For game times and to get your digital ticket, visit online at BiloxiShuckers.com. 
For more happenings this weekend, check out the Biloxi Community Calendar on the city's website. We leave you today with a peaceful setting in the Oyster Bayou at Beauvoir. We'll see you again next Friday.